the biggest battery company in the world can now make your whole car for you. Well, you know, pretty much it's not that far away. This really heralds a new era of electrification and for the entire automotive industry. You no longer have to build a car yourself. You can now get others to do it for you. Now think about it this way, guys, you can get a Chinese company to build you a giant gigacast machine, which builds a huge percentage of the car in two enormous pieces, right? Xpeng do it with their X9 and their G6. And Tesla does it with their cars as well. Hyundai are going to be doing it, Toyota soon as well. Now, if you combine that with the skateboard chassis from CATL, motors as well, you can get them too, then it's not a lot you need to do. I mean, realistically, almost anyone can make a car now. Now, don't get me wrong. If you're going to try and do this, you're going to be destroyed by companies like BYD and Tesla. They just make too many cars. They're too efficient. But this is actually really good for the industry because this new skateboard chassis is incredibly safe. It's much safer than an internal combustion car. There is no internal combustion engine car in the world that would be as safe as building a good EV around this new skateboard chassis. In a lot of ways, it's revolutionary. And I think it reminds me, guys, of when about three and a half years ago, I made videos about BYD's blade battery, talking about how safe they were. And whilst it's true those blade batteries are very safe, this new skateboard chassis from CATL is an entirely, it's really in an entirely different league to the safety of just a battery pack alone. Here are the details. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. CATL, biggest battery company in the world. They, aside from Geely's golden brick battery, they have the best battery technology. It is definitely better than Tesla's. There's, I don't believe any question about that when you look at the details. When you're objective, guys, I think you guys know I'm pretty objective on this stuff. I don't really have a dog in the fight. I don't dislike Tesla at all. So there's no, ne there's no reason for me to say that. I'm not one of these channels that's trying to clickbait everyone like electric and make negative news stories every day on Tesla. It's just pointing out the reality. Tesla's batteries are good, but they're just not as good as CATL. CATL, biggest battery company in the world for a reason. They have a million mile battery. It's guaranteed for a million miles. They say that even at a million miles, it has it's guaranteed to have 80% of its original capacity left. The only company in the world doing that, right? This new skateboard chassis doesn't use that battery, but it uses something similar. Now, the chassis is called the Bedrock chassis, and it's basically uh, the car. I mean, it's like a skateboard. It's got wheels, motors, batteries, everything's there. But what's really impressive about it is the way it's been built. The CATL Bedrock chassis is unbelievably safe. It's been tested in crashes at 120 kilometers an hour, which is 75 miles an hour. In a frontal collision against a pole, the battery does not catch fire, it doesn't explode. And that tells you quite a lot, right? You're hitting a pole at that speed, most cars just disintegrate. The company says it sets a new standard when it comes to the safety of EVs. And when you actually have a look at the way they've constructed it, well, they could be right. It's certainly possible. The skateboard chassis integrates the battery cells featuring a three-dimensional biomimetic tortoise shell structure and a high ductility energy absorbing insulation film. For its construction, CATL used submarine grade hot formed steel for the, the actual structural part of the battery. They used aerospace grade aluminum alloy in places where there wouldn't be any impact and they used multiple barrier structures, making the battery as rigid as possible. The high voltage circuit of the battery is being can be disconnected in 0.01 seconds after impact, with discharge of the battery being completed in 0.2 seconds. Now, that's kind of confusing to the average person. What that means is the thermal runaway protection. So when a thermal runaway event is uh, triggered, which is what happens with an impact with the battery, the thermal runaway protection happens within about 0.2 seconds and that stops a fire from going through the battery. Basically, the chances of this skateboard or this battery or an EV using this battery pack uh, having a fire are almost zero. It's as close to zero as you can get. Now, of course, solid state batteries will be the next frontier, but honestly, uh, this battery pack seems remarkable. Thanks to its design, the Bedrock chassis is capable of absorbing 85% of the vehicle's collision energy, which marks a huge improvement compared to the average of 60% for a traditional chassis. 
So it's much safer than any internal combustion engine vehicle, I believe chassis that's ever been around. This is important in collisions as demanding as the frontal pole crash tests that simulate impact with trees or power poles. Very often you see um, accidents. My dad was in the fire brigade. He was a first responder. They would always get to the accident before the police, before the ambulance, and they would see people deaths all the time. He's seen so many people die. The main way is frontal collisions, right? Hitting a power pole, hitting a tree, and your, your chassis crumples and you're dead. This is potentially going to change that completely. According to CATL, the pole crash test at 120 kilometers an hour generates 21 times more energy compared to the 56 kilometer an hour or 35 mile per hour full width frontal impact test, which is currently the standard in basically the Euro NCAP testing. So standard safety testing around the world involves hitting uh, a frontal impact at 35 miles an hour. CATL is saying that's just ridiculous. I mean, most of the time when people die, they're not going 35 miles an hour, are they? They're doing closer to 75 miles an hour. So they tested it 20, at 75 miles an hour, which is 21 times more energy. And they're saying, you're gonna live in that situation, which is insane. Besides the 120 km an hour, 75 miles per hour test, the battery cells have undergone high speed sled impact tests at 37 miles an hour, 90 degree bending tests and soaring tests, proving their resilience into catching fire or exploding. Now, of course, the nail test has been performed as well, basically piercing the battery pack with a nail. And of course, it um, has no issues with that. I've been saying for years now that electric cars are safer than internal combustion engine vehicles. We know that's true. Euro NCAP proves that. Safety testing proves that. The, fa the safest cars in the world are EVs, the top 10. They're all EVs. None of them are internal combustion engine vehicles. The best scores ever recorded, none of them are internal combustion. They're all EVs. But this kind of takes it to a new level. This sounds to me like it could revolutionize the safety of vehicles. Because remember, the automotive industry will be looking at this and they'll do what they did with Tesla. They copied giga casting, they copied structural battery packs. They'll see this and they'll say, okay, well, what do we need to do? Ah, okay, we can improve it by doing this, this, and this. So this will mean that within a few years time, you'll see competitors come out with even safer vehicles, safer vehicles than what they have today. Now, keep in mind, a lot of people in China one of the key reasons they buy electric cars is because they're aware that structural battery packs, vehicles with structural battery packs are much safer than vehicles that don't have them. So this is one big selling factor and should be something you consider when you buy an EV. Buying an EV, you're gonna know that vehicle is much safer than the competition. And one way you can figure this out is by looking at crash tests online. Crash tests online are pretty good. I didn't think they tell you the full story though on just how safe a vehicle is. But that said, honestly, guys, like I said before, the safest vehicles ever tested are electric cars. So you really only have one choice if you want your family to be the safest it can possibly be, and that's to buy an electric car, not a plug-in hybrid. Plug-in hybrid fires are incredibly frequent. They're about a hundred times more likely than an EV. So if you're in an incident, if you're in a crash and you're in a plug-in hybrid and that vehicle crashes, it is much, much, much far more likely, exponentially more likely, you're gonna be involved in a fire if you purchase a plug-in hybrid. And that's one of the reasons I really talk about them on the channel. And one of the reasons I'm not a fan and never plan on buying one. Thanks for watching.